Well, we do know that more people are getting access to the COVID vaccine than ever before, expanding to everyone 16 and up in Tennessee in less than just two weeks. As News Channel 5's Jason Lamb explains, the technology driving the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines could end up helping to cure other diseases. With the increased rollout of the first two COVID vaccines, more and more people are benefiting from how the vaccine works using what's called mRNA technology. I think we're on the threshold of a major scientific expansion in the use of mRNA technology. The M stands for messenger. The vaccines work by passing along a message or code that teaches our cells how to build a protein that triggers an immune response. That immune response is what develops antibodies to protect against COVID. Now, BioNTech says it's going to apply the same technology to try to create other disease eradicating vaccines. Ways to prevent or treat certain cancers or certain illnesses such as Alzheimer's disease or perhaps genetic defects providing that genetic information. Dr. William Schaffner at Vanderbilt Medical Center says mRNA vaccines could be the wave of the medical future, but these vaccines could take 10 years or more to develop. I think there will be a lot of scientific activity working with mRNA in new areas. Schaffner says he thinks pharma companies, which have profited greatly with the development of the COVID vaccine, will use some of that money toward new research that could spur the development of new mRNA vaccines. Looking at other areas in which uh, this mRNA technology can be applied to humanity's benefit and also to their own. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.